When looking through the Bible and through history, one of the most prominent prophecies are concerning new revelations from supposed angels. Let's look to Paul's letter to the Galatians to see one of the most dire warnings to us. Galatians 1 verses 8 to 9 But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. This warning was so crucial that Paul had repeated himself twice, showing the warning's significance. Let's now look at some examples of supposed angels coming to alleged prophets and providing another gospel other than what is in the Bible. Although Catholicism teaches that its origin starts with Peter being the first pope, there have been many supposed signs from perceived angels in the presence of Catholics. First, in the year 312 AD, Constantine, a Roman pagan, sees a chai ro, or cross, in the sky, in which he hears a voice saying, conquer by this. After marking his soldiers' shields with the symbol, he emerges victorious in his battle against Emperor Maxentius. As the new Roman Emperor, after his rebellion, he appears to legalize Christianity, all the while incorporating it with a Roman pagan culture. The Catholic Church from henceforth has failed to remove this pagan synthesis, has persecuted millions of Christians since, and has many doctrinal heresies this channel will continue to address. The fact that visions seem to be a factor of Romanism does not give it extra validity, as it persists in continuous contradictions to the Word of God. The foundation of Islam is based on the Quran, which Muhammad had supposedly dictated from the angel Gabriel. In the Quran, it says that Christ is not God in the flesh, that Christ had not died on the cross, and many other heresies, although it says to obey the Bible and the apostles. This is also to say that Muhammad did not live in conduct with what the Word of God says and brought back restrictions that the New Testament had done away with, i.e. dietary restrictions and ordinances for salvation. Joseph Smith had supposedly God and Jesus Christ, off to a bad start, visited him initially, telling him to be a prophet. Soon after, the angel Moroni came to him to give him the location of gold tablets near his house, which he found four years later. Mormon doctrine says Christ is a separate God, teaches that Christ came to the Americas, natives are cursed Israelites with darkened skins, and that the Book of Mormon is another testament, and has two other books as well, with works-based salvation being a part of their unbiblical doctrines. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14 And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light.